Global FDI um, returned to growth in 2013 with inflows rising by 9% uh, to $1.45 trillion. UNCTAD projects that FDI flows could rise to $1.6 trillion in 2014 and gradually rising to $1.8 trillion by 2016 with relatively larger increases in developed countries. Uh, fragility in some emerging markets, as well as risks related to policy uncertainty and regional instability, may negatively affect the expected uh, upturn in FDI. FDI inflows into Africa amounted to 57 billion US dollars last year. That was an increase of 4% relative to the previous year. This was largely driven by international and regional market seeking. Uh, investment as well as investment in infrastructure. So basically these were the, were the main reasons, so market seeking, infrastructure investment and, and, and also international, of course, of course international commodities driven. Um, Africa's, uh, Africa's consumer markets are also increasing a substantial amount of interest um, globally and an interesting figure that is provided, of course, in this World Investment Report is that Africa's middle class over the past 10 years has, has, has increased by 30% to an estimated 120 million people. The overall increase in, in, in Africa's FDI inflows last year was driven by Southern Africa and by Eastern Africa. Um, all other regions saw declines. So whether we're talking about North Africa, West Africa, or Central Africa, all of those experienced declines. In Southern Africa, inf FDI inflows almost doubled to 13 billion, that is one three, uh, 13 billion US dollars. And of course, these were largely driven by investments into South Africa and Mozambique. South Africa topped the list, followed by Mozambique, then Nigeria, Egypt, Morocco, Ghana, Sudan, DRC, Congo, and Equatorial Guinea. Uh, but you will recall, of course, in last year's report that South Africa was not top of the list. Um, if I'm not mistaken, top of the list was Nigeria. Uh, in terms of outflows, uh, South Africa still tops the list um, of, of, um, of investors, African investors outside of, it, of their own borders, followed by Angola, Nigeria, Sudan, and Liberia. Uh, 